in this video we're going to do a graphing activity and what we need to do is create parabolas that pass through the following points so we've got five questions that you've got to do which means we've got to construct five different parabolas now I won't be covering these five questions instead I'm going to do one example just to demonstrate what you need to do and afterwards I want you to complete these five questions and when you get the solutions I want you to write it in the comment section below and I'll let you know if you're right or wrong and that way when other people look they can get the solutions from the comments so for the example that I'm doing I'm going to construct a parabola that passes through the following three points 0 comma negative 1 1 comma 1 and 2 comma negative 1 the one I'm about to do is quite hard and a lot of the ones that you're going to do are going to be much easier than this so what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring up Desmos which you will be doing as well and I'm going to put these points in so the first one was 0 comma negative 1 so you just put it in brackets and click enter and you'll see that Desmos will label the point for you the next one is bracket 1 comma 1 close bracket enter here's our second point and the third point is 2 comma negative 1 and we have our three points on our Cartesian plane so when I look at these three points I can see that I need a parabola that looks something like this if you follow my mouse so it's an upside down parabola like so so to start with I'll put in my most basic parabola y equals x squared or x to the power of 2 and we can see it definitely doesn't pass over these three points the first thing I'm going to do is I want to turn it upside down I want to reflect it over the x-axis so I'm going to put a minus sign in the beginning because I've learned from previous videos that's how you flip your parabola over the x-axis I can see that my turning point needs to be up here at the blue dot so I need to translate it I need to move it to the right one and up one now the upwards move its movement is the easiest I just need to write plus one at the end of my equation here to move it right one place I put my X in brackets and write minus one next to it so we can see that we have been able to move our turning point up to where that blue point was or to the point one comma one now in order for my parabola to pass through the red and the green point I need to make it thinner and you might remember to do that I'm going to put a number here in front of the bracket that's in front of X I'm just going to try the number 2 and that worked perfectly it made it thin enough to pass through those other two points so I've completed this question I've been able to make a parabola that passes through those three points and the answer is this over here y equals negative 2 bracket x minus 1 close bracket squared plus 1 so as you complete these questions questions A through to E just write in the comment section below the answer which will be an equation that you put into Desmos that will draw the correct parabola anyway that completes our video on the graphing activity remember to read the description below for links to work booklets that relate to this video and also remember to read the comments below if you'd like the solutions to questions A through to E.